Hey there, I am going to share with you today my favorite recipe for low carb pasta. So I only have three ingredients, and that's all you need. You can find this exact recipe at bitesofwellness.com. So this is a daikon radish, and this is the star of our show with the low carb pasta. I'm gonna go through exactly how to do this, but all you need is a daikon radish, some garlic, olive oil, and some everything but the bagel seasoning. So first comes first, we have to peel our daikon radish. You don't want to eat the outsides, and you're just gonna peel it like you would a carrot. So now what you will see is that sometimes in the grocery store these are cut down even smaller, but you can find these in almost any grocery store. We have to turn this into pasta somehow, so we're gonna spiralize it. And to do that, you need to make sure you have a flat edge on both sides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut off the end that's been in the grocery store for a long time like that and then I'm going to try to make this so that it's a straight line and cut off the other end and then we're going to spiralize this so you want to make sure you have two flat ends you're just going to put the bigger end right in the center and then you're just going to push the hook of your spiralizer in make sure it's nice and secure make sure your clamps are down and then you just spin it's easy When you are done, you're going to have lots and lots of spiralized noodles. Now you guys can see these are really long, so you're going to want to do yourself a favor and cut them up a little bit or eating this pasta is going to be ridiculous. Okay, now this was so easy already. It only takes about five to seven minutes for your daikon noodles to cook. Now I'm going to warn you right now, if you try these raw, they're pretty spicy. But when you cook them down, it mellows them out, super simple and easy. So we're going to get right to it. So again, just so you remember, we're going to use some garlic olive oil. This way it infuses a lot of flavor in um, while you're cooking. You need about a tablespoon. I'm just going to eyeball it. And then, like I mentioned before, make sure that you cut up your noodles at least a little bit or they're going to be very hard to work with. Now, here's a pro tip. Heat up your pan first. You want these to start cooking instantly. So this is already preheated, it's pretty hot. I'm gonna just add the noodles in. I'm only gonna do about half of this. Don't overcrowd it. You guys can see I still have some long noodles left, so you can just break them up by hand. And a little bit more. And then these are just simply going to cook for about five minutes. I'm actually gonna throw the lid on um, at the end if they're not cooking up fast enough, but they're nice and thin. They were spiralized on the thinnest setting. And like I said, you can eat these raw, but they are gonna be spicy. All right, so we are just getting this done. The noodles are um, not as um, hard before. They have a good texture to them. They're easy to kind of, they're a little bit pliable. Um, some of them did brown up a little bit from um, just being in the oil. So the last part of this is we are gonna add our seasoning. So I love everything but the bagel seasoning. This is from Trader Joe's. You can get balanced bites online, lots of different places. But why I love this is because it's a combination of salt and garlic and lots of other spices. Um, and it's perfect so you don't have to think through a million ingredients. You just need these three. Um, so we're gonna add about two tablespoons of this. Um, and then all you have to do is stir and serve, really. But you guys can see um, the seasoning has lots of different herbs and spices. We're gonna do about two tablespoons. And then we're just gonna stir it up and it's ready to eat. Super simple, very easy um, weeknight dinner. Um, if you're doing low carb, it's perfect. So make sure you share this with your friends who are loving low carb or who just really wanna get more vegetables into their life. See you soon.